Welcome back guys, my name is Johnny. If this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe and click the little bell to my channel so you don't miss anything. Alright, I got a, another update for you on my Robin Hood Week 23 to $100,000 challenge. As you can see today, I am up $7.02. And that seems to be pretty typical. Um, this week I'm up almost $9. It was kind of a slow week. Um, kind of busy at work. Wasn't able to make um, some trades that I wanted. Um, still 53 for the month. Still up 220 for three months. And all in all, since August 15th, I am up $256. So um, it has been a great journey. A um, lot of good things going on. I want to show you kind of what's going on this week with my history. And that started on the 15th. And basically what I did on the 15th was um, I sold ABBV and ABT because I did lock in those dividend captures. Uh, sold DNR and ROYT. Um, as you can see, I sold a lot of stuff because I wanted to um, get out of the trades and just kind of have a little bit more buying power. Um, I did buy a few here on the 16th, as you can see, and then put a $3 deposit on the 17th. Um, sold off a lot of that stuff the next day on the 17th. Uh, bought MMM at 247. And bought Verizon at 121. Sold off a lot of different things for profits like MU and uh, um, AMAT, Applied Materials. Um, I bought Berkshire B for 212. Waste Management for 88. And then made a $10 deposit. So um, I did put 40 in on the 18th. I'm kind of waiting for that to go through. And then I also have a dividend uh, pending for ABT and ABBV. So um, just a real quick recap on that um, history for me. Um, stocks I'm currently holding right now is Siri Radio. I did get a free share of that yesterday. Um, thank you, Leslie, for signing up with my link. And I hope you enjoy the Robinhood app. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And then um, I am going to be selling Glad and Gain today because I did pick up a dividend capture for those on uh, Friday the 19th. So I'll probably just be selling it off now for a small profit. And then when I get my dividends pending, those will also be for um, some profits. Um, got Waste Management. I'm up 52 cents. I'm up 234 on Verizon. Uh, I'm sorry, on Visa. My bad, Visa. Um, and up 242 on Berkshire Hathaway B, and down a few cents on Triple M. But um, I know that'll be coming back, coming back up. So my thoughts this this last week was okay. I'm making roughly twenty dollars a week on you know 15, 20 different stocks. So I wanted to see if I could take four to five really strong growth stocks and see if I could kind of match that. To where I don't have to like buy in and trade like every day or every other day. Maybe I could just hold on to these couple of stocks long, put a few more dollars into my account, and then kind of buy these um, bigger companies when the price dips, and then watch it, and then it'll ride back up because it's such a great <laughs> company, I believe. So um, I definitely want to um, kind of switch up my strategy a little and um so if you guys have questions you think that's a good strategy to do um let me know but we are definitely on our way to a hundred dollar mark and um beyond i'm trying to get to a thousand dollars by the end of february i believe we'll be able to do that and um so if you guys have like any questions or anything for me feel free to just leave a comment in the video um, we also have a Facebook group that you can find me at. Um, it's called Investing for Beginners. And, um, and you know, that's it. Just anytime you want to ask anything, you can. Um, I know at the beginning it could be a little difficult kind of trying to decide where you fit in in the stock market. Um, am I a day trader? Am I a swing trader? Um, you know, kind of what is it that gets me to buy the stocks, such as, 
um, you know, technical analysis like charts and, and reading that, RSI or the EMAs for those charts? Or is it more of like a fundamental analysis where you look at the company's um, revenues and growth potential, maybe dividend aristocrats, and then trying to figure out kind of where you fit into all that. So, um, you know, we're up $7 for today. I wish I could match $7 every single day. That would be, you know, $10 a day. That's $50 a week. That's a great start trading with only $700. Um, but, you know, stick with me on this journey. And if you like this video, please smash the like button, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And again, share this video with anyone that you think um, might gain some knowledge from this. Okay, so you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week. And enjoy. Happy trading. All right, bye, guys.